What's up, guys? I'm Just Incredible, and this is Pro Wrestling 101. Let me tell you something, brother. You know, back in the day, in the heavens, in the oh yeah, in the and I gotta tell you something, and yeah, all that stuff. Well, guess what I'm talking about this week? Promos. I used to do that too, man. I guess everybody's had a bad promo phase in their career. Believe me, when I first got on the mic in ECW. It was plain brutal. And quite honestly, some will even argue to this day, I don't do a great promo. And you know what? You might be right. But let me let me tell you a little bit, like, kind of what I see as a student of the game and what I like in a promo. First of all, very important, know your character. Character development is huge, huge, huge when doing promos. I mean, look, bottom line, we're something like actors, right? We got to know who we're supposed to be what's our motivation, you know, shit like that. So it's really, really important to kind of have a background, know what the situation you're talking about is going to be prior. I mean, you know, have a little bit of a base so you could, you know, have uh, markers, you know, stuff like that. So it's, it's very, very important. And also, please, guys, that screaming and yelling that I so notoriously did back in the day, to me, that doesn't get over anymore. I don't know if it ever did in the past, but it certainly doesn't now. I mean, when you think of, you know, especially mainstream media, when uh, they put pro wrestlers out there, they're always screaming and yelling and bro a lot of brothers. I don't know about why they say brother, brother so much, brother, but a lot of brothers. Um, you know, try to stay away from that. When you're in the ring, especially in-ring promos, Know what you're talking about. I mean, you ever see UFC when they get on the mic? I mean, a lot of it seems unrehearsed because it is unrehearsed. Speak from the heart. I mean, nowadays, they'll hand you a script. And if you got to follow a script, I feel sorry for you. You know, that's really not the way to do promos. It's never the way I was taught how to do promos. But unfortunately, you got to roll with the times. But if you're going to do it, no bullet points. That's number two. Very important. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, and I don't think a lot of us can anymore. But the bottom line is, if you remember bullet points, you know, who it is you're wrestling. Sometimes, believe me, you'd forget when you're doing so many of them in a row. Know, you know, know where you're starting. Know where you're going. Know what the emotion is that you're trying to get. And one thing I always like to do is build. You know, I might start talking real low and, you know, and focused and and not saying too much and, and whisper almost and then I start getting a little angry and then emotional and what I'm talking about is getting me a little mad and whatever and you get the point you know bring it you know your promo should start here like a match and end here you know it treat it like you would an exciting match and by the end you should have your viewer hooked and that's the bottom line look there were promos by Jake Roberts that I still remember to this day. I mean, talk about a master. You want to draw people in with your eyes. And I'm telling you, if you believe it for that second, if you really look into that camera and you give them everything, and I mean everything, then it's a lot easier to hook them. And guys, you can't go wrong with all of that. You know, start off small, build, know where you're going, bullet points, very important. This is Pro Wrestling 101, and I'm just incredible.